getting out of Israel as before was super quick and easy. Okay, thank you very much. Have a safe trip and enjoy. And then we headed south, down the Gulf of Aqaba, for a 48-hour non-stop sail into the Gulf of Suez. We'll take the next two days after that to get through the Suez Canal, which opens up into the Mediterranean Sea. Happy, happy breakfast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Delicious instant coffee. So that's unfortunately the only thing that I've found that is consistent throughout the whole world is instant coffee grounds. good here in the Red Sea. Yeah. It was rough and then it was calm and now it's rough again now that we've turned. miles from Port Suez and that's the entrance to the southern end of the Suez Canal and that takes us to Port Said. We are we are motoring because we we picked a day where there's light winds blowing south. Later today they're supposed to ship blowing blowing to the north. Right now they're from the north but they're light and there's still a little bit of fetch out here from the wind blowing. We got about uh, 23 hours we'll be in uh, Port Suez. This will be a little smoother here in about six or seven hours. Good. Life will be better. Good. Uh, we're motoring with two engines right now just to get through it. And uh, everything's good. Everything's running right. So today, you said today's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Tuesday. We'll Tuesday. be there Wednesday morning. Okay. And then we'll cross the Suez Canal. It takes two days to cross the Suez Canal. So Thursday we leave and we go halfway. We stay the night and uh, I can't think of the name of the place, but we stay the night there and then Friday morning we get up and we go the rest of the way uh, to Port Said. And if weather's good and we can get checked out of uh, Port Said, then we'll go on to Cyprus. And uh, that's another 220 miles. So Friday, Saturday, so Sunday, Sunday afternoon, we should be in Cyprus. What happened to Turkey though? Turkey, the weather's not favorable unless we want to wait two or three, four days, five days in Port Said, which is not a very nice place. To I don't know that it's not a very nice place, but... We're not even checking into Egypt. Though. We're not checking into Egypt. Yeah, so no. I don't want to sit. So we don't want to sit somewhere. And it doesn't cost nothing to get into Cyprus, according to what I've done. So it's a nice place. Jump up there, spend a week or two there in Cyprus, and then uh, jump over to 58 Turkey. Jack actually handled radio call last night on his ship, but anyway, the Egyptian Navy, I don't know why they don't have a centralized system, but they call every time, I mean, they just call all the time. About every two hours? About hours? every two hours and ask, who are you, where are you going, where are you been, how many crew you got on board, and you'd think the first Navy guy would put that in his system and tell the rest of them, and then you wouldn't have to deal with it, but 
And then you got the language issue trying to communicate. Yeah, they're nice guys. They're nice guys. They're just doing their job, but it's. Uh, they called once while you were on shift and once on Kate's shift. shift. Did once she on, talk to him? No, I had to talk to him. So I had to get up and talk to them. And, and then, then Jack. And Jack. Jack did good. You'd think it's three different navies, but it's the Egyptian <laughs> Navy. They got, you know, they're all, they're all isolated. <laughs> There's a lot of ships out here today. We're kind of in a major shipping lane right here in the Gulf of Suez. But these guys are going so fast, they just zip right on by us. He's not even moving in the waves. No, he's not. I can get right behind him probably and get the smooth ride. Right. Yeah. Looks like an oil rig or something. The wind has shifted a little bit, and so Keith is going to put a sail up. Motor sail instead of just motor motor. Maybe. Man, that thing's dirty. Oh my gosh, look how dirty it is. We need some rain. Nope, not gonna work. I see, it's not filling up. Look how dirty it is. Finn got up. How was your shift last night? It was good. I did not much, just relax. Yeah. I ate some food. Now let me guess, what did you stand with? Rolling it back up. Not enough wind. Did you get to talk on the radio like Jack and Kate did? No. <laughs> For lunch today, we're having chicken fajitas. I made the chicken beforehand, before we set up on this passage. So the chicken was already cooked. I just got to stick some vegetables in it, stir it up, throw it on a tortilla. Tortillas. Finally found salted butter when I came to Israel. Yay! But I did make salted butter on my own because it wasn't that difficult. It's also been hard to find good shredded cheddar cheese. So I buy blocks and grate it myself. And there's no such thing as Monterey Jack or Colby Jack or any of those yummy Mexican cheeses in the Middle East where we've been. Not at all. Mix a little um, red pepper in with our cheddar cheese. It works just fine. Just a little bit of sour cream. A couple of good looking chicken fajitas for daddy. Yeah. That's, that's called your girl making you a sandwich. Oh, service. You want salsa or? No, I didn't. It's fine. Delicious. Here comes this wave from the wake of that cargo ship. It's gonna roll us a little bit. We get them every once in a while. We're not paying attention. It could knock things over. Actually, I think it's getting bigger as it's getting closer. It's turning into a surf wave. <laughs> Lovely. Here it comes, Jack.
Hey, you shouldn't step on that. One of the bars came out, right? Yeah, you don't want to fall down on the engine. Yeah. For dinner tonight, we are having salmon and vegetables and rice. And I ran out of real lemons. I forgot to buy some. And so I have to use fake lemon juice. But it tastes the same. Mm -hmm. Lemon. I need a few more onions in that stuff. I like lots of onions. Lots of onions. Lots of onions. Onions, 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 onions. How's your passage been? Very good. Very uneventful. Except this morning it was rough, wasn't it? Yeah, this morning I guess it was a front day raw. Oh, don't forget the rice over here. I, I warmed up some leftover rice. I just want the broccoli. I like the broccoli. Robin, you're already done? Yeah. Oh, what's up? Come on. Come on. As the day comes to a close, night shifts begin again, which mainly consists of staying out of the way of fishing vessels, which shouldn't be in the shipping lanes to begin with, but sometimes they are, and making sure we don't run into any cargo ships and answering any radio calls from the Navy. Each of the kids have a three hour shift, which they're very used to. And since we didn't have any sails out, this overnight journey was as usual, completely uneventful. As we pull into the entrance to the Suez Canal first thing in the morning, we line up behind dozens of ships and boats waiting their turn for permission to go into one of the busiest canals in the world. Port control, port control, sailing vessels to Tara. Port control, port control, sailing vessels to Tara. Is it okay for me to enter the channel to go to the yacht club? What's your position? I'm at the last marker buoy before the channel. Please stand by, Captain. Wait, wait your instruction, please. After finish North convoy, I will tell you anchor position. I will uh, give you uh, permission to proceed to yacht club. Please hold on in position now. Okay, I'm here. holding by the uh, marker buoy number one right here by the channel. Stop as you are, please. Uh, grid fortune, grid fortune, power control. After only about 15 minutes of treading water, we got permission to head to the entrance, where we got paperwork done and paid for the canal crossing. After about an hour there, we were given our pilot and released to head through the first section of the canal.
is kicking my, actually, we just started. Nobody's got any pieces yet, but he always kicks my booty, always. Second time ever that I won? Yeah. But he helped she me. She did win. good. He helped me win at the end. I, I, it I was made... just the series of really bad mistakes. Yeah, I, I sacrificed my queen in the beginning. It was dumb. And it was just all over with the crime. It was done, yeah. Are you waving at the locals? I was waving at the locals. Salam alaikum. Two hours. Okay, wait, so we're doing this whole thing again tomorrow and then continuing on. Yeah. Sweet. So we're not stopping once we exit this canal, we're just going straight we're to Saeed. We're just going straight Saeed. to Saeed. Just keep on going. Just keep on going. Drop off the pilot and go. Drop, is, it not, off and go. is it not going to be rough once we get into the Mediterranean? Yeah, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have 20, half of the journey is going to have 25 knots of wind, on, Ooh, 25 yeah. to 30 knots of wind on the, yeah. on the port beam. That'll be some of the yeah. first. How long from Port Saeed to Cyprus? 30, 32 hours. Ugh. That'll be some of the good Ooh. first sailing we've had in a right, long time. Yeah, Pull the reef up and get her done. Get her done. I need a haircut, Mom. Okay. It's long. I'm pretty good at that. I need you to do a general trim, though. General trim. Mm -hmm. Okay. So not just the back. Oh, the front too? Uh -huh. Okay. I can do it. I did good yeah, on fins. I need it. I need it. After almost a full day of motoring at about eight knots, we made it to the halfway mark, about 50 miles in to the 100 mile passageway and we tied up to the dock for the night, ready to finish up the journey the next day. All right, we're off again today. Round two of the uh, Suez Canal Passage. We'll be on the other side late this afternoon and we should just head on, keep going, keep going to Cyprus. So hopefully it works out like that. What's your Suez Canal experience? Man, I tell you, this is an easy canal. This is a no stress canal. It really is. Of all the canals we've crossed, the Suez Canal is the easiest canal. There's no stress, lots of room, even though the big ships are in here, there's lots of room and, uh, and uh, you know, the Corinth Canal is very narrow and uh, it's not hard for a little boat, but you just want to pay attention to what's going on in there. The Panama Canal is a little stressful, especially in the locks. The locks can be a little stressful. Other than the locks at the Panama Canal, uh, you know, at Gatun Lake and, and crossing over the top there, where you're going down the river, it's just like this. Yeah. Hot. And this yeah, this this is, is starting to warm up already here. It is. There's no wind out down through this canal, so it's uh, yeah. kind of hot. Here comes a big old bridge. This is an easy canal to cross, so easy. Doesn't take nothing. Uh, we're gonna drop our pilot off, uh, Ahmed. He's been a good pilot. Great pilot, Ahmed. Nice to meet you all, all of you. And uh, we are going to um, hopefully be in Cyprus by a day or two. So here we go. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Finally out of here. Finally, easy, easy crossing passage, whatever you call it. Yeah, Come back next week as we hoist the sails and continue on to Cyprus, but have an unexpected sail emergency at a very unfortunate time. I don't know how we're gonna get the sail. We may have to take the sail all the way down. I right, try to roll it up, man.